Jackson, I'm wearing my work shirt. I'm wearing my work shirt because it's time to get some work done. Hey everyone, Matt Woodland back with you for another home improvement project and today we're going to take a look at renovating a bathroom on a budget. And so we're going to use a budget of about $100 to renovate a bathroom that my wife absolutely hates. Let's go take a look. The first clue that a person has that someone hates the floor in a room is they cover as much of it as possible with carpets. That's exactly what's happened in this bathroom. So this is the master bath in our house. And although it has a nice window here, you can see it's got a very small shower stall. And if I can see really closely, you can see the color of the walls, all the tile is this pink color. So not only is the floor pink, the walls are pink, even the parts that are painted are kind of a pinkish color and even all of the accoutrements are pink. And it's not that Becky hates the color pink, I just think that she hates this much pink. And I can't say I disagree with her. Um, it's a very small bathroom. In fact, next year, we're gonna blow out this wall that we're looking at right here. We're gonna take that wall out. Uh, we've got a closet on the other side to make a bigger sink area. In addition, we are going to take out this wall where the mirror is <clears throat> that's a closet on the other side as well to make for a bigger shower. But in the meantime, I thought we could maybe do a little bit of work in here to try to make this be a little bit nicer room. And so the first step of the project, what we're going to do today is we're going to actually paint all of the tile. We've got a, a nice primer that I'll show you in a minute here that we're going to use to paint all the walls, including all the tile in here and allow us to eliminate that nasty pink color. And so we'll check in a little bit as the progress goes to see how well it works, but let me show you the paint first. So this is the paint, uh, or primer actually, first that we're gonna use. And it is a latex base, so it's not gonna be too smelly. And it's said to be able to stick to all surfaces without sanding. In fact, it even specifically states it can stick to ceramic tile. So again, this is only a one year kind of project. It only needs to last for a year. So it doesn't need to be the greatest uh, paint job in the world. Um, it just needs to kind of last and get us through to, to, to we demolish that whole, that whole room. But to make this more exciting, you can see what I've got here is this is the paint in here and I've thinned it already because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna use paint sprayer because that's gonna be way more fun then paint it with a brush. And so Becky had got this last year in order to help her do the deck. And so I'm gonna use it to paint the bathroom. And so I'm gonna use it through the primer first, see how that works, and if it does a nice job with that, then I'm, I'll go ahead and I'll paint the whole bathroom using this thing too. So uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, so I went ahead and I removed everything that was removable uh, from the bathroom. So I've eliminated all the piece of furniture and the rugs and carpets and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's out of here. So it's as if you're moving in here for the first time and then looked at it with dismay as my wife did when we considered purchasing this house and bless her, she, uh, she went through with it anyway even though she didn't care for uh, this master bathroom. So we'll see if we can't uh, correct that a little bit today. All right, we're gonna get ready to do uh, our second coat of paint, and I'll let you see how the first coat looked, and uh, the sprayer worked out great. It's got two settings, and so one setting kind of allows you to go more vertically. It's got a fan shape kind of going out like this, and then one's more horizontal, so the fan shape is rotated 90 degrees, and so you do have kind of a crisscross pattern with it. And I, I tried to go kind of a lighter coat because I want to do a second coat, but in some areas I want a little heavy because it's the first time I've used it and got some drips, but overall it looks pretty good. It's a good practice since we're gonna use the sprayer to to paint the exterior of the house um, this summer. So let's take a look and see how the room looks. You can see we've gone from the pink to uh, this white. And I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna leave, I'm gonna, after my second coat here, and if I need any touch up, I'll do the touch up. Um, but after that's done, I'm just gonna leave it that way because Becky had made noises like she wanted to paint the room anyway. And so uh, if nothing else, I'll have it all primed for her. Um, and she was just talking about painting the walls and kind of and just trying to work around that pink 
I even tried to paint um, the towel rack here, and I don't know how well this um, paint will hold up, and I got a, a spray can to kind of help me get the, the tough angles, but I kind of painted all the, uh, as best I could, you can see I wasn't able to get entirely in here, but I'll use a spray can to do the rest of it. And you can also see I, I took out the mirror, um, and what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to try to do, is I'm going to cut the mirror down to size. I'm actually going to cut in um, on each side. So I'm going to shorten this side so that what I'm going to try to do is build a frame um, <clears throat> that will go around the, the mirror. Because right now the mirror looks strange because there's no frame. It just kind of goes from tile to the mirror right away. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch uh, the sides in enough so that I'll have a one by three that will kind of run the border here and then along the top and along the side as well. And so it'll look a little more like it kind of belongs there, I guess. And so I went to Lowe's and I priced out Vandy Tops and they're, it's going to be over my budget because my goal is to do this all for under $100 or about that. And so what I think I'm going to do is they sell some uh, restoration paint for countertops and I might look to see what that will cost and what it might look to do this because this is a terrible um, counter. It's got stains on it. It's really in bad shape. The sink itself is in pretty good shape. I can just kind of chip off the paint that I oversprayed on here. but. Um, the, the fixtures aren't too bad. Uh, it's just a matter of the bowl, which is in bad shape. And I believe there's an enamel in here, possibly, and then you've got re restoration on top here. And you can see the side on, the, on this side is pretty bad. It's kind of it's got some water damage on the side here. What I might look to do is I might get a I can, I can buy a thin piece of of wood um, and just cut it to size and just attach it along there and kind of you know make a notch at the bottom here just to kind of cover that bad side out. The front's not too bad either. I might just kind of repaint that as well. Um, and I'll get new fixtures as well. And that will at least make this look a little nicer. If I can get the top taken care of, like that will do wonders. The light fixture up here is, is bad. Um, but the problem I have is that it's the only outlet that's in this room um, is in here. And so unless I'm able to get this outlet out of here and, and create an outlet somewhere else on the wall, which would be optimal, I'm going to be kind of stuck with this light fixture, uh, but if I can get that light, that outlet out of there, uh, I saw a light fixture that looked pretty nice for $20 or $30, and I might swing by the ReStore tomorrow too and see what they've got, but um, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with the the, process, the progress, so you can see the, it's got pretty good coverage, you can still see a little bit in here, I'm just going to do one more coat tonight, and then that should do it, you can kind of see some here where I was a little too much with the, the paint, but Overall looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do one more coat and then we'll we'll leave it at that. So that's a gallon of paint that should be enough to, to give me my second coat and then I'll I think I'll paint this as well. Um, but I'll take that off to do that. But I figure I'll work around it for right now. So so there you have it.